In this video, we're going to cover how to create a query in Google Sheets that is driven by checkbox selection criteria. So here I have a sample of what we're actually going to build in this video. In row 7, you can see I have query results. And up above the query results, we have criteria items. We have loan types, which is column C of our detail and we have branch location, which is column D of our data set. And if I were to unselect any of these items here, just to select only the auto loans, you can see our query only pulls back auto loans. So we'll get started here. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a new tab and insert the query function. Our first input is our data set that is going to be our loan detail on this first tab so I'm going to click in column a1 or I'm sorry cell a1 hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow f4 to lock that down our next input is our query select statement for now I'm just gonna say select star to pull back everything and we'll adjust it here in a second the final input is our number of row headers we only have one row of headers so this pulls back our entire data set on the new tab and now what i want to do is create criteria items up top here so we have our loan types criteria and then our branch location criteria and i'm going to use the unique function to get unique items out of our data set and just copy and paste over this now we need to create check boxes so I'm gonna select the cells to the right of our loan type criteria go up to data data validation and in this criteria drop down we want to get the last item that says checkbox and hit save and I'm going to do the same thing for our location criteria. So things to keep in mind as we build our query. We have two sets of different criteria. We have our text values for loan types and branch locations in these cells and we also have our checkbox criteria now checkboxes in google sheets have a value of true if they're checked false if they're unchecked so just keep that in the back of your head as we build this query so i'm going to hit f2 to go into our query after select star i'm going to insert a where condition and the first thing we're going to deal with is our loan types so we want anything in column C that is equal to our cell value here of C2 mortgage and a value of true in cell D2. Now we want to concatenate our select statement to this cell here. So before I close out my double quote, I want to insert a single quote because we're going to use the and symbol to concatenate it to our cell value and this is text as i said earlier so text in a select statement needs to be enclosed in single quotes so that's why i have a single quote before the double quote ends here so i'm going to join it to the cell value here i'm going to use another and symbol because we need to continue our select statement so reopen the double quote and the first thing I'm going to input is another single quote. So now we have a value of mortgage enclosed in single quotes. So now we need to insert an AND condition and end our select statement again because we want to concatenate it to the cell value of D2. So I'm going to use another AND symbol. And notice that I have a single quote that precedes it. So this also must be enclosed in single quotes. So I'm going to use another AND symbol to get back into our select statement with another double quote and then a single quote. 
and we want anything in cell D2 that is equal to a value of true, which is also enclosed in single quotes. So I'll close this out and see how it looks. So you can see now our query currently has two criteria. Anything in column C that equals the value in cell C2, which is mortgage, and the value in cell D2 equal to true or checked. So you can see our query now only pulls back mortgage loan type. So if I were to uncheck this box here, our query would pull back nothing. Why? Because this cell now reflects false and our criteria says this cell must be true. So the good news now is we have done the hard part and now all we need to do is copy what we've just created and change our cell references. So after this first column C criteria, I'm gonna insert an or condition and then paste in what we've already done and move our cell references down a row. So now we're picking up business and D3 being a value of true. So I'll repeat this again. And this time we're getting row four. So I'll close this out and you can see now our query pulls back all of the loan types. So if I were to unselect mortgage and business, you can see our query adjust to just pull back auto loan types. So now what we wanna do is repeat the same thing for our branch location criteria. Now, keep in mind that our branch location criteria is in a different column. So if we want to pull back both loan type criteria and branch location criteria, we need to insert the keyword and between our loan type criteria and our branch location criteria. So in addition, we need to enclose our C column criteria in parentheses and the same thing for our D column criteria. So again, I'm just going to paste what we've already done. I'm gonna change the column criteria to column D and our cell reference for our first branch criteria will be E2 and its true value will be F2. So now I'm going to copy this, begin with the keyword or again, and paste, adjust our cell references to the third row, another or statement, adjust our cell references again to the fourth row. Finally, our last row. So now we'll close this out and you can see everything should be linked now. So if I uncheck some of these branches, we now only have the central branch. If I only wanted to see central branch mortgage loans, I can unselect these two items here. So that is how you can build a query in Google Sheets that is driven by checkbox selections. Hey, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.